Today we're at the Brandhulk New Military Cemetery and we're here to tell the story of Captain Noel Chavas, one of only three men to be awarded the Victoria Cross twice. So today we are a little west of Ypres and we are currently at the Brandhulk New Military Cemetery number three. And we're actually going to pop just over the road to go and take a look at the grave of Captain Noel Chavas. He was awarded the VC Victoria Cross and Bar. That means that he was awarded the Victoria Cross twice. And in fact, he's one of only three men to ever receive the Victoria Cross twice. Noel Travas was born in Oxford and he was one of two identical twin brothers. He was born about 20 minutes after his slightly older brother. They both studied and went to Oxford University, both keen sportsmen. And in fact, Noel played rugby union and then both of the twins represented Great Britain in the 400 metres at the Olympics. Noel Chavas studied medicine um, and just before the war in 1913 he joined the Royal Army Medical Corps. Of course it was only going to be a few months later that the Great War would begin in 1914. Noel had a fairly active war prior to even receiving his first Victoria Cross. In fact, he won a military cross for bravery uh, in 1915 near Hoog. He was also promoted to a captain in that same year. So for now, let's go and take a look at the grave of Noel Chavas and then we will tell the rest of his story. We're actually at the Brandhulk New Military Cemetery number three right now. And sometimes I've, I've had someone say to me before, they got a bit confused. They came to this area, put the cemetery into Google Maps, they pulled up, they parked, they saw the cemetery, they came in and then they thought they were in the wrong place. Well, that's because the bit that we want to go to is actually just down a little pathway uh, on the other side of the road. So let's go take a look at the grave of Captain Noel Chavas. Okay, so we've just left the cemetery there and we are headed down this little pathway just across the road. So this is the spot we're looking for, the Brandhulk New Military Cemetery, just down the end of this path here. Okay, so as we said, slightly tucked away, but as you get to the end of the path here and you round the corner, here we have the Brandhulk New Military Cemetery. Let's go have a look. Now the Brandhulk New Military Cemetery uh, opened in May 1915. Now it's not the biggest of the Commonwealth Grave Cemeteries that we've been to. Uh, it holds a little under 700 men here. Uh, we don't just have British graves, there are also some German graves here. But of course, we're here to take a look at one specific grave today. So when you walk into the cemetery here, that's something I haven't seen for the last few days, a shadow. But just down here, on the right hand side as we walk in, we've got the quite rightly well decorated grave of Captain Noel Chavas. Captain N.G. Chavas, VC and Bar, MC. Royal Army Medical Corps, killed on the 4th of August 1917. And you'll see he's got the two VCs marked on his grave. Noel was awarded his first VC for his actions near Guillemont in France in 1916. Following an attack, he ventured out into no man's land to try to treat and recover wounded men. He spent hours going back and forth, treating the injured, despite being in the open and under heavy fire. The next day he went back out again, took it, taking a stretcher bearer with him to try and bring in wounded men. 
Some reports suggest that at points he was as close as 25 yards away from the enemy trench. For his bravery that day, he was awarded the Victoria Cross. So a year after winning his first Victoria Cross, for a couple of days between the 31st of July and the 2nd of August 1917, Noel Chavas acted in a way that can only really be imagined. Fairly early on in an attack, he was wounded whilst trying to treat a man and carry him to a dressing station. Despite being fairly severely wounded, he refused to leave his post and carried on trying to rescue other injured men. He treated the men as best he could for several days without food, feeling faint from the loss of blood from his own injury. He refused to give up and carried on treating other men probably saving several lives during that time. With no regard for his own safety, he carried on treating those men and he subsequently died from the wounds that he had received himself. For that bravery, he was awarded the bar on his Victoria Cross, ultimately meaning that he received a second Victoria Cross. As we said earlier, one of only three men ever to receive the Victoria Cross twice. So I hope you enjoyed this video um, telling the incredible story and the incredible bravery of Noel Chavas, buried here at the Brandhog New Military Cemetery. If ever you're in the Ypres area, I really recommend coming here. One of only three men to be awarded the Victoria Cross twice, and he lays here. You can come to his grave. It's fairly easy to recognise when you walk in the cemetery because it is very heavily decorated, quite rightly. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I enjoyed telling the story about Captain Noel Chavas. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.